and we're back. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Finest. And today we deal with the Mustang stability stabilization. Or is it the handling of the front end? I don't know how you call it, but we're dealing with it today. We're going to go ahead and install strut tower brace. Now that's going to go in the front. Now we're going to go ahead and unbox what we bought, which is the Ford Performance strut tower brace for Ford. Let's show you. All right, here it is. The box is right here, right on top of the, the tailgate of the truck. Let's go ahead and open it up and to see what's inside. So this is what the first thing you see in the box, which is the strut tower brace right here. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. I'll wait right next to the little beautiful wood that I have here. Don't worry about it, it's getting refurbished. All right, so let's take this cover off. And then this is the actual back side of the strut tower brace. So hard for me to pronounce it, but here it is. This is just a little, this piece, you're gonna see how it's gonna go. So instead of just being a shrug tower brace, which is that one piece, it actually comes with a rear piece too, which actually attaches onto, I believe, the more or less where the firewall is. So therefore, it has a little bit more stability in the front end. So this is what the strut tower brace looks like. It's obviously we got a black dot and what it says right here, we can focus. Ford Performance right here with the Ford. It's just a little thing we want to go with. We don't want any other badge stamped there. So something cool that we saw. And as well, it does come with the extra hardware that you need, which is a Ford uh, lug nuts right here, which you could replace them, I guess, uh, with the ones that you, we're going to see right now under the hood. And this is the other piece of what I was talking about, which is called the strut tower brace support. So this is pretty much just gonna go right behind or right on top of the firewall more or less. So this is gonna, what it looks to me, like so you see these two holes here and see two holes here. So I guess one goes underneath, some on top. We'll show you the whole process. So let's just get a little B-roll of this. Let's open her up. This is what we're gonna work on. So the two holes that you saw there on the strut brace and the support as well are gonna go here. So good thing they have these here because they don't, and they brought us the lug nuts over there as well. So we can go ahead and put them there. I thought they came with it, but I didn't check under the hood before. But anyways, we're gonna put that there and we might have to tackle this a little bit because that's where the support is gonna go attached to. So we're gonna head and show that little fun process. So the first step is to remove some of these clips and that you see right here. So you see clips here 
here and there we're actually going to get a tool to go ahead and remove it so that we can just take this off we're going to take this completely off it's just to kind of get this kind of like the hood is right now just to lift it up a little bit in the front so you can go ahead and put the support brace right in the back So the next step, what we're gonna do is we have to take these off. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know where the other one went. The little thing. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off right here. Just gonna go on, clip them up there, and then it should go up. We're gonna go ahead and show you that process, so you guys have an idea how that works. Out. not too windy uh, but we're, the next step is to go ahead and take this plastic piece off so we're gonna have to unbolt this that and it's gonna unbolt some that are underneath there we'll show you that a little bit later on and I'll go ahead and tell you what size I'm using for that all right for those screws right there if you can hear me with this wind we're gonna use a 13 millimeter bolt right here you could probably use a 12 but uh, this is gonna be fine uh, let's go ahead and start removing them For these, they're gonna be 15 millimeters. I suggest using a long socket, so that way it can go fit in there because you do have these uh, threads right here and they do go really long. So you wanna use something like this so you can go ahead and easily remove them. We can just go ahead and lift right here. Let's take this part out here. Hold up. Note to self, make sure you have a handy cameraman. <laughs> Alright, so this is the plastic piece that we're gonna replace with the metal piece. Uh, you can see this very fidgety and not very, uh, if that's even a word. But this is not really too sturdy, but we'll just go ahead and get rid of this one. And we're going to put the new metal Ford Performance one from Ford. Alright, so this is the OEM plastic one and this is the, the Ford Performance metal one. So you can see this only bolts right here and it stops right there. But this one continues, this continues on right over there. So let's go ahead and install it see how it's going to be. Should be fun, right? saw there it kind of pretty much goes in place um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how what we did I do recommend a little bit to have a second hand so I can go in a lot easier since I do this is my dad's here um, luckily I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make that life a lot easier so let me show you how it looks well there it is you just go ahead and put it on um, where those threads are 
put it in the back right underneath that plastic cover you keep going around and then now you put it on these two threads right here and then from there we're gonna go ahead and get the strut but before we do let's go ahead and tie some some of them down on the back where the uh, OEM bolts are were so let's go ahead and do that get that out of the way so we have enough room before we put the strut brace So we put the the bolts back in there underneath that cover. Didn't want to record that, it would be just very tedious as it goes the same exact way with the way you took it out. Everything's nice and tight. So the next step is to go ahead and get the strut tower brakes. As easy as that, obviously with the help of two people, it just goes right back. Actually, it goes right on top of the, the strut tower brace support, which is right here. It goes right on top. Now, all we got to do is get the nuts. We put them here, put one here, and two on the other side as well. And then we put that little plastic cover. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Right here, this cover back on there. And then the whole thing should be ready to go. And then we'll give a little test drive to make sure everything is good. It's making any rattling noises or anything like that. it is it's on it's tightened both sides are looking good so obviously the final step is so go ahead and put all the plastic trim you took off and other little plastic pieces make sure you don't lose them because they tend to pop out and shoot everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and put that back we're not gonna show the process of that because it's, it's kind of straightforward and then from there we'll do some little b-rolls of it I'm so happy how it came out. Uh, it was pretty easy install. It's a little bit tedious because of all the lug nuts and all the little clips that tend to fly out and get lost. My suggestion is go very slowly with the clips, take them out, make sure you have your hand on top of them so they don't pop and, you can, and just fall everywhere. You wanna go ahead and catch them because what happens is they fall in the engine bay and then they might not fall down the floor and then they get lost forever. We did lose one, unfortunately, we lost one. See, you got here, here, and not here. It fell down there somewhere. We tried to look for it for like 10 minutes, but we're running out of uh, daylight, so... <sighs> Anyways. Well, besides that one little casualty, uh, it's a pretty, I love how it looks. It was a beautiful install. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys looking at this video and, and supporting this channel. Peace out.